What's up everyone, Frank here with Little Al, and today we are going to be looking at a feature that we just put into the software, um, AutoShip. Uh, for those older clients, this is going to be a great tool. For newer clients, this is also going to be a nice tool for them. Uh, let me show you how it works. So if you go to your profile, which we're already in, and you scroll down, you'll see this nice little box, AutoShip with AutoShip disabled. So what AutoShip does is you can now set a number, any number uh, between 1 and, I think, 3,000. Uh, I wouldn't recommend 30,000. That's That sounds like that would have issues. I, I don't think I want to hold 30,000 units unless you're storage. <laughs> anyway, um, you would click AutoShip Enabled, Update, and then you'll get this AutoShip number. And then you can put this to whatever you want. So this is easy. This is great for those who just kind of want to set it and forget it. Just focus on sourcing and sending us items. So let's say you want um, you want us to ship out 100 units every time we get them in. You would just click update, and then boom. Once uh, received inventory has reached 100 units, uh, it will alert us, and then we will begin that shipment for you. Um, this can be changed at any time. So you guys can, um, you know, experiment if you want. What number is the right for you? Um, I know for uh, smaller clients, uh, 15 may be a good number. For slightly bigger clients, I would always suggest, you know, 50 to maybe 100. Uh, but that that's pretty much it. It's fairly easy to do. It's going to save you some time because you don't have to go and request a shipment uh, via the dashboard anymore. But this is just another tool. You don't have to use it, um, but it is a good resource if you want to automate um, more of the process. But yeah, it's that simple. This was Frank with Little Al. Have a great day.